If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 reaction video. In today's video, we're doing the reaction without the face cam, so it's like a gameplay commentary reaction. The game players we're going to be watching today are absolutely insane. Two nuclears in search and destroy. Just process that. It's absolutely amazing. Smack a like on this thing. 2,000 likes. I really appreciate it. you guys usually love the reaction videos so smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let's get right into this so what i'm reacting to today is gameplays by my buddy frizz eyes this guy is an insane snd player he has a bunch of 20 plus games 30 plus kill games and all that sort of stuff and this one that we're reacting to today is going to be two nuclears he got in search and destroy which is absolutely crazy so a nuclear is a 30 gun streak and he gets this done in search and destroy now how he does it is with the help of some of his buddies he has his buddies play in the same game as him and they will do stuff like call out the enemies throw stun grenades at the enemies all that sort of stuff and then he has to play a perfect game so it's sort of a supported gameplay which i know some people don't like as much but the way that he does it is you have to play it perfectly think about that you have to take out every single enemy and go 30 to 0 which is just absolutely incredible and that's how you're able to get these nuclears in search and destroy he also has some crazy solo gameplays i just thought these snd nuclears were awesome and that's why i want to react to them so you can see here, he's playing it smart, he's winning rounds, he's losing rounds, he's getting the most points that he possibly can, and he's effectively doing that so that he's able to drop these nuclears in search and destroy. Now, back in the day, there was this was like a huge thing where basically people would um, use support for gameplays. You know, you had people help you out in the spawn systems. And um, for SND, I remember back in MW3, there was a, a guy called Spaz My Dog and some other people. They would always go for SND Moab, it's like the strategy, and it was super hard to get. But this guy, Frizz Eyes, makes SND look absolutely easy. And you can see here just how tactically he plays and how he's able to get these SND uh, nuclears are just crazy. It all comes down to with this is waiting out your enemies, playing patience, and it's kind of the epitome of search and destroy because it's all about communication and all that sort of stuff. So you can see here what he's doing is he's pretty much just posting up, letting the enemies come to him, and there's so many close called in, calls in these gameplays, which is what's crazy about it. Like so many times he is very close to dying or stuff like that. The first one he's using here is going to be the CUDA. You can see here he's already 21 and 0. He has the CUDA with the silencer. I skipped a little bit ahead into this gameplay because I want to watch the second gameplay as well, which is uh, like an even faster one, I think. But you see here he has the CUDA with the silencer and there's one, he's left in a 1v3 here and he has to clutch. He knows where the enemies are. And uh, it's just imagine how the nerves you would have right here. Like I have some sort of nerves when I'm going for like a normal nuclear or a normal Moab. And I know a lot of you guys do too, but going for one in SND would be absolutely crazy you can see here it's a 1v1 and this spot he's in I, I didn't even know this was a spot I, I don't know if this is a very popular spot it looks very good though he can just sit back here and just wait on the enemy to walk in front of him this is actually a very good spot that I've never known about this is one of those jetpacker things this is insane he can watch the whole back spawn and uh, there's the enemy he sees him easy kill wow that was a pretty good spot there. I got to give that props. 24-0 here. Let's see if he's able to get the nuclear this round. There's six alive. So technically, he does have the hater up too, which should make it pretty easy. Of course, whenever you're going for a nuclear, you should be stacking those haters. And here he has to get every single kill to be able to get the nuclear. He's on the brutal. And uh, let's see if he can do it or if they're going to purposely lose this round. When he, when you have that, that hater up, he's rushing and he's making the most of it. Also with the kinetic armor, which is... I think sort of an underrated one because it's really good, but sometimes you'll just get headshotted and destroyed and that really sucks. You can see here he's left in a 1v2 and there we go. He kills them all and I think that's that's the nip. That's the nuclear right there, but he's he's going to teabag him a little. Let the bomb go off and go to another round to get even more kills. So this is just crazy and this is why I think SND needs to be six rounds, uh, up to six six rounds to win. Um, because that were 11 rounds total, of course, because that's how it should be. These games should last long. You shouldn't have to be purposely losing. Here he's 30-0, and 0, trying to get some unstoppable medals, which is just, I can't imagine how hyped you'd be to get one of these. I remember back in the day, and that was one of the coolest things about going for gameplays. Back in the day, my channel used to be like, 
Modern Warfare 3. Now there's just two kids AFK. Or they just gave, they've just given up at this point. 32 to 1 was the final score from that first one. Now the second one is super duper impressive. This one here is on Fringe. This one is an older one, a VMP Dark Matter. This one is just crazy. To be able to get a nuclear, I think this was the first try he was going for one. It was absolutely insane. At the end of this video, I'll leave you with their reaction, him and his teammates to getting this. But um, back in the day, the best feeling was getting that super good gameplay and knowing you were ready to bring it off to YouTube. Now, six cents. I think here is a major key using your headset and sixth sense is what makes this possible and it's kind of like it's a really unique situation there's not much it can be compared to because it's sort of like you're going for a nuked out from free for all but you're doing it in SND with the cooperation of your teammates. If one of the teammates messes up, if they get bad callouts, if they all die off the spawn, and of course they're trying not to kill anyone so that he can get all the kills to get up to 30, you know, so it's just a really unique situation here. And his teammates, of course, deserve a lot of credit here for whatever they're doing. I think they're just shock charging, stunning and all that stuff, but there's so many close calls here. And uh, Prestige Master 749, this was a while ago, so I'm sure he's level 1000 by now, but, um. The VMP is just so good. Here's the second round, 4v4. And uh, just the way he plays it is so tactical. And that's the way that when I play Search and Destroy, I find that I'm a little bit too rush happy. You can see here in the gameplay, of course, is being cut and all that sort of stuff. But he's playing it very tactically. He's in a 1v2 right here with kinetic armor. He still doesn't pop it. And now he's in a 1v1. I'm betting he's going to just try to lose that round. Yeah, that, that's what happened. Because now it's the lobby's filling up 6 on 6. And now he has the chance to run through the enemies. Using Kinetic there, which is smart. You probably want to use it when the enemy is going to be looking at you. He has Kinetic up. I don't know why he didn't rush that guy in the back then. I, I guess maybe that guy... Um, he, he might have died or something. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, of course, these enemies aren't the best and I know people are going to comment that and that's what you know of course when you're going up uh, when you're getting a nuclear and search and destroy them when you're getting any gameplay that's what people need to understand is that like youtubers they don't get noobs every game it's just the gameplays that you see from them are of course the ones that are going to be against noobs um here he's ha holding his hater for the next round but uh you know of course you're only seeing the youtubers best games unless they're live streaming and then you'll see they'll run into tryhards they'll back out and all that sort of stuff this gameplay is very impressive even though it is supported and of course like i said this guy doesn't just do this every game which would be kind of cheap he does have 20 plus kills 25 kills all that sort of stuff by his solo self so that's why he's such a good uh, snd player um, and this was just such a unique gameplay. I had to feature it here. So here he has, he's still not using the hater, which is so unique to me because he's 3v5 right now, basically 1v5 because his teammates aren't going to kill anyone. And the enemies are rushing him. For some reason, these guys just aren't the best. They're just not very good. I, I think like if you're using a 1v2 now, kills that guy. He's still in a 1v1. He has a counter UAV up or not up, but in his inventory as well as a hater. And I think this round he's going to want to lose, but he also won the round because the guy didn't plant. So this, this leads to some problems. Three to one. He's at 21 kills. This round he uses the hater and he's got to definitely make this one count. This guy at the back there is, yeah, he's pretty much screwed. Kinetic armor, baby. This one, he's going to have to lose these next two rounds to be able to get enough kills or at least this round. Um, probably lose both rounds to be able to. And you'll see at the end of this one, it comes down to it and it's like 30 to 0 perfectly it's absolutely crazy here 5v4 the, these rounds with the hater up it's just all about like he sees the guy looking at him so he, yeah see this guy the, me personally i would have just rushed that guy and that's because i'm just an idiot like when, when i'm 20 to 0 i would feel like you know what i just rush and that, i think that's one of my problems and why i have so many brutals but not as many nuclears or like the conversion rate is pretty bad because when i'm feeling i'm one of those players that plays off momentum and hype i guess you could say and i'm sure some of you guys can relate to that when you're getting a lot of kills when you're racking up those kills when you're feeling yourself and you're you're on like 10 kills in a row you're gonna rush everyone hey, kids on a head glitch you're gonna push him you're gonna try to wall run you're gonna try to outplay him here he's stuck again against three enemies with the hater he still chooses not to use it which just shows like this is not easy to do, guys. He's on a brutal, and he's holding the hater. Like, that's something that takes balls to do. And, of course, here it is, 3-2. He should have an easy round at this right now. Um, he just has to use the hater, and he just has to kill them all. Or think he should be at 25. He might have to wait till the next round as well. I'm not sure exactly. 
but hopefully this pays off. He does have kinetic armor to work with, which should make this a lot easier. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll leave, uh, they have an audio clip of their whole team reacting and freaking out over getting this. So I'll leave that reaction up. Drop a like on this thing if you guys did enjoy. Go check out his channel. I'll leave the link for that down in the description. Drop a like. Let's go for 2,000 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Enjoy their reaction. Yo, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. No, 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 he has to play the safe. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God, let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. First try. First try. First try. First try. First try. Hey, first try. Yeah. This is like... Alright, back out, dude. I don't want to play Circus anymore.